Hey guys, it's Lisa from Inspired Wellness. Today I wanted to share a little life hack with you that has made such a big difference for me and every client I have taught this to. Um, so pay attention, I hope it works for you too. Um, there's a very common thing that happens for a lot of us in American culture where we crave something bad. We crave something, I know I shouldn't do this, but, or conversely, I know I really should fill in the blank, but I'm not gonna. So what is that? Um, a lot of the time we have resistance to all the things that we consider discipline, like it's not fun to be disciplined, it's hard work, I'll get exhausted, it won't feel like my genuine life, it'll feel like I'm trying to be like someone else, and you could probably extend the list even further, whatever your resistance is about being disciplined. Um, I'll tell you a secret though. When you're craving something that you know is not good for you, what you're actually craving is the chemical response that your body has to thinking about something kind of taboo. So what happens is we have this uh-oh fear response of I know I shouldn't do that. And maybe it's eating chocolate cake or sitting on your butt instead of going to the gym. I really know I shouldn't X, but I want to. Um, what happens there is that we start craving dopamine and adrenaline and that's a really big tie-in with addiction. Anyone who's like I know I shouldn't drink, but I want to get drunk, whatever. Um, you're craving the dopamine rush of anticipating a reward. So something I've learned to do in totally retraining my brain to be more disciplined and to actually enjoy discipline is that you can set up a reward system where as a reward for doing something that you know you should do, that's really good for you, that maybe you don't entirely wanna do, you set up a reward. So if I go to the gym for an hour Tuesday morning, which I don't totally wanna do, after that, I'm gonna take myself shopping, or I'm gonna meet up with a friend. I'm gonna have this really fun experience that's not a food treat. Um, it's something totally separate, that's just something I enjoy that's just for me as a reward. Um, so when you're at the gym doing that workout that you don't necessarily wanna do, but you're anticipating as soon as I'm done with this thing, I get to go do that thing I really want. What happens is you trick your body into producing that dopamine because dopamine rushes come when you're anticipating a reward that's imminent when you're tearing into that bag of chips or opening a fresh packet of ice cream or whatever, there's this like dopamine rush from this is going to give me that feeling that I like feeling. So again, this little hack is about training your mind to associate discipline with reward. So get creative. What rewards are really, really meaningful to you? They don't have to be meaningful to anyone else. Um, pick something really special that's gonna make you feel really loved and taken care of, and that's your treat for doing that thing that you know you need to do and you kinda have some resistance. That's it for now, try it out. Send me a comment below, let me know how it works for you.